Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Ajax campaign here in Total War Troy. We pick things up for episode 21 from turn 105. So we're right next to Mount Olympus as Odysseus is making his way up north. He might have to turn back because we got this army here. And I don't know if we can actually handle him with this army here. Uh, which we moved to a defensive position here thinking that he might sail down, but it seems like he's going after our bronze. He knows what hurts us. So, um, we can't let them just keep chasing because we got company behind as well. So we're going to probably have to ask Odysseus to turn around. They will change stance. And I don't know, with this army, we probably can march just to this choke here. This is where, you know, they can cross from the island. And if we just hold ourselves here... We can invite him for a fight, perhaps, instead of letting him just, you know, run across. Our zone control can shore him in. Uh, that's one hope. Uh, he's probably going to take this. We are currently upgrading it with population, so I think we're going to scrap that so we keep the population in place. Um, we'll upgrade this first. Um, it helps because then we can get the two-turn reduction here So and safer. We're probably, you know, expected to lose the bronze at this point. Um, we do have this army in front, which is concerning because then we don't get the whole province. If we're prepared to just lose this anyways, maybe we go ahead and just take this first and then we turn around and make a full turn. Those who are so that's something I think we'll do. He's going to die. Poison. And we take care of the city. Not that the garrison is stronger than this army. Oh, well, definitely not. But because we get 50 gold when we do that. So we'll do at least one on that. So we get 50 gold. And then the rest we'll use it on the army. It might still end up being a delegate fight. We'll see. Oh, also patch 1.5.1 is on the horizon. I don't know if they actually will only patch it for multiplayer battles or all battles. Because I know they're going to fix the slingers. So currently our basic slinger have 190 range as you can see here. Pretty high missile damage and uh, all this the green bars are boosted by our you know divine favors and our reforms and whatnot. Uh, but the veteran ones had less range so that will be reverted to correct. Uh, basically basic slinger will be 180, veteran slinger will be 190. That makes more sense. Both will lose about 15% armor piercing damage which will hurt quite a bit. And all slingers in the game will lose about 8% reload speed. They're nerfing slingers overall. So that kind of sucks. But for us, it's not going to matter too much. Just because the only reason I'm spanning you know, these guys is because they have accurate ac uh, accuracy. And they can't hurt our front line. And they're cheap. Very efficient. So if they had you know extra value before, they will have proper value. Or still premium value right now. So I don't think the nerf is going to change my opinion of them at all. I will still be spamming them. And then over here we take this fight. Yeah, I think we'll just take the delegate because we're, we're about to bounce off. No need to wait here. Take the decisive casualty free battle I hope. It's against the grain farmland. Shouldn't be any problems. Yeah, barely lost any men spread across. There's a reason why we gave him the spies, so they can just, you know, power through in situations like this. And the main reason why we had to make this pit stop is because we want organized game for the whole province. We also have a new faction up here that would be our new neighbors. Um, they haven't declared war on us yet, and I say yet because most likely they will. And the Macedonians have been relatively passive, so I don't know if they will declare war on us. We're going to head back, and uh, I guess we can head back through this valley, because, you know, why not? I might as well do something aggressive on the way down. Um, we also have... Oh, we have the bronze. Oh, yeah, we want that. We want both of these, but I don't think we can detour that far. Like, this is on the way. That's kind of out of the way, so that will have to wait. Um, anyone rank up? No. Okay, good. So let's go west. 
Sarpedon made his, you know, last ditch effort at attacking uh, Sammy down south. Uh, he's over here in the north, but they beat our garrison here, but they didn't take it. They didn't take it. They they raised it. They looted it. Everything dropped a level, you know, sucks, but not the end of the world. They lost a ton of men. We fought to the bitter end here, and uh, we're on their doorstep, so what can they do to us? Um, he's garrisoned outside, so it's kind of weird. I want to be, you know, do it right. on the island here. All right. So, like we want to, we want to start the siege, but then we want him to be here on the I siege. But then the circle is overlapping, so I can't even. I don't think I'm in the siege yet. That's the problem. Let me launch the siege in circle, which would take away the zone control of the actual settlement, so no we can actually land. We've landed. We can't move My into his God. zone, but now we can reinforce. Give no quarter. And this is the problem we run into with this army. It's going to be very hard for us to find an army that will give us a decent fight. Hit them hard. Like, there's no need to watch us massacre half-naked youth. We got ourselves the bronze back, which is very, very important. Ooh. This and is not the apple of discord. This is a different apple. We get food from this region. Minus one construction time in province capital. So if we ever station a general right next to Mount Olympus, like forever, like we, we stick a general in this province where we're gonna go heavy food or even in Athens but Athens we're gonna probably build more defensive yeah that could be a good item anyways um, let's see we still have some movements uh, on him but I don't think we'll I move we'll just challenge. wait the coast is here we could head there early by early, I mean one turn early to relieve some of the pressure. No rest yet. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Poseidon, protect us. Sammy, help is on the way. Uh, we have to Scourge wait a turn. He can pop out and uh, give himself some experience. And then rejoin next turn. We pay a little bit extra upkeep for this turn. Not a big deal. Um, he's there, he's... I'm gonna upgrade this back up. They kept the right buildings. Okay, not the worst fate. And then we'll do the Paragon battle here, uh, before rounding our way up north to chase away the Dorians and Sarpedon himself. And that should do it. That should do it for the western uh, front. These ladies is today... Yep, this is the turn. Where we have to speak to our gods. We are mortal, and your patron will shine upon me. When the gods I call upon the divine powers. And we short this part up. We should have one more army down here, which we do. Your cause. We should chase away Sarpedon's army here. I don't think we can attack Aeneas here. I think we'll let him be. And we'll catch this army on March, so we just wipe them out. And send them home. Hold nothing back. <laughs> They'll laugh at him. Okay. Getting a little cocky here. We get a little gold, because they have a heavy chariot in that army. I am For duty. Yeah, we're good. New course. Hmm. I don't think we'll raid. We'll take to some extra money post battle. All right. So I feel like we have fully stabilized here. Yeah, Ithaca's gonna get a rebellion due to all the raising and all the armies here. 
Our army's almost here, so not to worry. Ooh, rank five. 400 gold. It's pricey, but I think we go for it. And then we get the faction-wide boost from our unique buildings, which means we build that and also upgrade next turn uh, after that finishes. And then we build the Ajax's retinue building as well. Speaking of food, um, I don't know how safe these places are. I see how long we can hold on to them. I mean, if anything, this is safer than that place, so we'll upgrade this one. And we still need population here. Ooh, they put the expensive one down, which is great, which is great. I think we build this. We just need influence here. They went cheap here. See, I don't want to go cheap here. I want to either get growth here or go for the expensive one. Just go all in. All right, we want influence. Happiness is fine now, now that we have organized game. Might get rid of this later. But right now I can keep it as is. Oh, right, we have a lot of wood. That's one good place to put the wood, but where else? Where else? That's another good place. Rebuilding our former capital because they all got taken. Yeah, I think we're good here. We got our range bonuses all back. This is solid as our recruitment site. Thebes relatively safe i don't think we gotta go hard for food we don't need growth so i think just go for the basic one we don't exactly have influence here it's going up but very very slowly alternatively we just go this All right, let's put it as defensive here. It's not really an economic powerhouse of a settlement. And this job is done. Like, everything is built. But Thespi is pretty safe. I don't need to build defensive here. The question is, do I want, like, 88 stone? Probably? Versus 72 stone. It's not a big difference. Yeah, it's it's let's keep it. In case we get raids in the future, it's always like a useful building. We gotta be prepared for getting wiped. It's a real possibility. Um this is fine. Right, so we still went with this here. We're not going so heavily defensive here. We still value the little bit of resource that this brings in. Okay, we'll be fine. This will upgrade next turn. We're trying to boost influence here, which is interesting. Or maybe this is what was here already. I don't know what I want here. Oh, I know. The faction-wide boost once this has enough population. So that's going to be in a while. Leave this alone. This goes up as planned. This does not need to go up. I'm not changing out of it because I want Zeus's bonuses, but I'm not upgrading them because I don't need to boost him. We'll get prepared. Four more turns here we can upgrade, and then it's just going to be the faction-wide bonus buildings. All right, so that's all done. Do we need to pray to anyone? Or do we need to boost anyone? Hecatomb out of commission for two more turns. Zeus is slipping a little bit. That's fine. We're building his building too. Wonder if we can get an epic agent. 
Yes, we can. Okay. So this is something we want to do. There is a lot of bronze settlements I want to boost with that, and there's also army I want to boost with that, because Tolster's army haven't got the boost yet. We're not full Writing build yet. Bombs. They got it. Everyone's tier 4 here. The purple. Um, they haven't. I'll win or die trying. Which means I could summon him here, have them join this army next turn. On target. Every three time. a turn, right? We have seven turns. Three, 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 three. Five turns. And then at the very end, we send him over here or over here and just power the bronze. I like that plan. Let's do it. Student of Hephaestus. Okay. Good. I just want to take a quick look at what's available to us. Hmm. Want peace now? They're going to get wiped. They're spread really thin. Alright, let's continue. Rebel army. Okay. Paris. Under Hector's banner. He confederated them. Join the war against Hippolyta. Ah, uh, why? It's not a good time for us. It's really not a good time for us. Win your own war. There's so many armies here. Hippolyta's... It's a mess, actually. I don't know what they... Ooh. So they crossed to fight us, which, which means we have to try to beat them back. It's a pretty quality army. Yeah, Delegate's not going to get us out of this. And plus, I think we're on March. So we're going to come in tired. I mean, our whole purpose is to hold them here. Level 15 general. Very high, basically. Unbreakable. I don't know if he has a chariot or not. Look at his health. I feel like he doesn't have it. Usually it adds like a huge chunk of health. This is injured, we can, you know, kill it off early. These are scary, a little bit scary. Immune to flank, special missile weapons, excellent armor piercing damage. Also, they have the shield. Yeah, look, they, this, this unit is not full health, right? 20k? Is that real? 21k? They have way too much health. Way too much health. I mean, it's because we are 150 unit max size. Yeah, that might... It's, that's not the entire reason. They still have more health than us. Anyways, we fight this. Alrighty. They picked the weather. And they went with fog. Hmm. Interesting. Well, terrain looks great for us, to be honest. Um, there's not going to be a battle timer advantage for us, even though we're on the defensive side. Mainly because we were on march, I believe. I think for us, our biggest advantage is that. Uh, I just, hold on. This. Hmm. Terrain's very interesting. Our biggest advantage is that if the infantry lines collide, ours will deal no damage, where their javelins will kill some of their own units from behind. So we want to encourage that. The question is, we don't have that many front lines, so either we have to hold very thinly or risk getting flanked. What if we move out into this area? Make them come at us this way. And then we don't have a flank to defend. Like, they can come here, but that, that takes a long time. So that means they have to pour to us through this way. And we just engage them, like, here. Like, show, and then pull. And then we'll fire from here. Maybe leave, like, one unit as reserve, or two units as reserve on the back end. And then flank if the, no one comes, or if someone comes, we can guard. 
So that means like these five will take the forward roll and try to get into some sort of defensive position here. Save some space for our slingers to do damage from behind. It's pretty crowded actually. Hmm. One bad thing about extreme unit size, a little bit crowded on the maps. I don't have to seal it off, technically. Technically, we could like stretch it out, leave some spots open. It's not like they can like maneuver that finely, and we can just slip some of our slingers out, maybe. Or that's like wishful thinking on my part. We'll see. Uh, but basically, that's the idea. We'll have them slip out. These five will be the first set. They will be our reserve set in case we get flanked. Right, we just have to like stretch it out like this. And then have these guys fill up the gaps over here. And then maybe even have one eventually fling out. He's not super useful, but we'll put him out here. Maybe he can chase away one of the slingers for us. We don't have to move it too tight. They're definitely interested in closing the gap on this side, so we have to be careful with that group. They are trying to flank, so these two will be useful just to stall. Here comes the chariots. Um, they're not going to make it into position in time. Can we? Focus him down One first. One of your units has no more ammunition. So they're not sending their infantry up. They're just going to exchange fire with... Hmm. It's pretty smart, I guess, because they know they will hit the back of their units. And also their infantry also has some nice javelin too. Yeah, the chariot's gone. Got wiped. This is easy to kill. A little bit of assist fire would do. Chase out, you'll be fine. Yeah, just stall here, you two. I don't want to chase into that, though. Hmm, it hurt. Their range actually hurts. Your hero is under attack. They're gonna route, and then it's all about hitting this group. Get this to route first. Why can't we move past? Yeah, get, get, ignore that one guy. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. That one guy is like grabbing us. I agree. Hello, are we taunted? Like, what's the reason? Alright, join the fight. Good, good, they got wiped. Okay. Now, repeat. 
All right, you take care of that. You guys don't have a lot of health, but you guys can take care of that. All right, you take care of this side. You flank onto him. This side, we're just stalling. They're also shooting first before sending people in, so that gives us time, actually. All right, you chase. You chase. Your warriors are losing heart. They routed, huh? Yeah. It's rough customers here. Get rid of these two first. Thirteen units left. He might have fully routed. He's broken. How about him? Victory is close enough to taste. All right, everyone back here. Go assist them. This front is already cracked. Just need one guy over there. Give them a little chase. Give them a little chase. Keep them busy. You guys is enough to kill that group. Actually help them out here. Yeah, they should die pretty quickly to the slingers. Finish that group. Chase them off. Sustain everyone should kill this group. Yeah, the massive amount of overlap is not gonna help. Feels like they have that help this side. Are they not done here? Okay, they're not done here. You chase that, you chase that, you chase that. Fire! We're gonna probably have to make them return um, to Athens and recruit some more front line because a lot of these guys will die here. Mm, they lost us in the forest. Your warriors have been routed. Oh no! Oh no! This front line can't die. I got one unit here helping. Well, if we just stagger them. Where they only fight one of our slinger at a time, it shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, javelin. Yeah, more is not always better. You don't get them spaced out, they can't fire efficiently. It's just not as good. But they're breaking. There we go, there we go. We just have way too many little rocks. He's unbreakable? Yeah, he's unbreakable. Everyone shoot at him. You, 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 you stay on that guy. Maybe we'll have half of you stay on that guy because he's not broken yet. They're all done. It's just him. You get away. I don't want you to die here. If you can recover eventually, that'd be great. There'll be enough guys shooting at him to kill him. By Ares, your you can get a health ready. boost. Alright, he's gone. Yeah, just finish him. Crossfire! 
The enemy hero we got has him. sustained a wound. Alrighty. Wasn't easy. Definitely costly too. No one actually got fully wiped, which is great. Cheaper for the recruitment side of things, but we probably want three more units here. There is a lot of bronze here, but I think I'll gotta take healing here. Already got plenty of bronze from the fight itself. Change hands, Hippolyta? Nope. Well, we're not at war with them, so who cares? He's on March. We can pick him off, maybe. There goes our bronze. Um, We can definitely give it a shot. No, it's fine. Oh, this is coming back. Let them take it. I, I really doubt we could have wiped out a unit fully. Like, ideally, maybe if we chase really hard after the archers and the slingers, we can maybe eliminate his range. But I don't think that would have been an easy thing to do. It's okay. We took the population back, and they didn't raise it, so that's good. Still two population, uh, level two settlement there. No. We'll get it back. Hmm. No thanks. Can we flip the map back? It looks so weird. Alright, Cafalonia. Uh, we got some. Got some raid here. We're here. I'll do it right. As you command. I will probably wipe him first, because these these are hmm, he will just run away, right? Yeah. And then we run out of movement. He will actually not be a problem for the refuse. settlement. I don't think so. Not for the main settlement. I've got what it takes. I could just defend Sammy first. Because this is a threat, obviously. We have arrived. Plus, we want this, and we also want our brother to come with us. We lost some movement for that, to incorporate our agent. We might, we should have probably moved him first and then have the agent play catch up. That would have impacted the movement a little bit less, but this is fine. Not the worst case scenario. My loyalty. Good hold there. Ooh. Same as Ajax. That's a great bonus. Alright, we have them on the run. That will never work. Might prevail. Do I want to chase? Not really. That army is no longer harmful and he doesn't have any recruitment sites. So I'd rather keep this weak army around. Alright, we're going back to Athens. Set up a watch. War makes the man. We might pray before we recruit. Always with honor. I don't know what he brought. But we have such a numbers advantage and have him on march that we should just go for it. He brought some interesting units. Oh, still really nothing good. Um, we'll fight him since it's Paris. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't want rain. Ideally, we want like Ajax fighting these guys, so they get the traits for beating these, uh, you know, unique characters or former faction leaders. Um, I'm not sure if they will charge us because we are actually attacking them. But given how we have such an advantage, I'm pretty sure we can just march into them and win this without any issues.
Will they move? Are they moving at us or away from us? Hard to tell. Mm. Let's just do that. I wonder if we can... I don't think we're in the clear to just charge, but we can volley them. Mm, really rather not fight the Minotaurs. I just One of your have someone stall no here. Yeah, good luck reaching us. Hang, hang with him. Victory is close enough to taste. Oh my god, he's just charging at us. You're already through, so just go for that. Try to chase another one. They need help. They don't need any more help. Kill the Minotaur. That's broken already. Help over here. Swing one over. Why don't we swing two over? Stay with him. Stay with him. Give him a little speed boost. Minotaur is going to be a little bit difficult taking down, but we got this. Everyone else help with the spear here. Yeah, chase him around. Yeah, yeah, give yourself the boost, doesn't matter. There we go. Minotaur down. Shoot Paris. Tell him that stone's better than archers or range uh, arrows. Make sure they don't even make it. Yep. You guys help. You're getting wiped here. The Minotaurs might bounce back. Singular. So we might as well put him down. Actually no, he's gone because our, our swordman here is going to make sure he's, he's gone. He might be unbreakable. No, he's not. Of course, Paris broke. And that's the win. Go home. Alright. There goes Paris. Mm, I'll take the resources in this case. We barely lost any men. Got an item. Not his spear. Alright, we're gonna head back. Next turn. Alright, time for us to loop down. He's gonna suicide somewhere soon, hopefully. Can you check for us? Actually, check first. Uh, no one's home. This is 150 gold right here. Our favorite type. Look at the gold increase there. Alright, and an easy delegate win on the way back. I think they even built a guardhouse here. Feels like a pretty strong, you know, garrison. 
where we only lost nine units. Has a new holding. No, no, how many times do we have to correct you? You're no longer Ithaca. They did build, ooh, they built a couple buildings that give them extra units. I don't know if I should spend the population on them at this point though. Kind of worried about us getting attacked while we keep marching down south. Hmm, plenty of enemies. Okay, that's all not a big issue. Level 26, he's almost max. We're gonna take the more greedy approach here. Odysseus. Mm, rage cost 48, around self, demoralizes the enemy. Or follow, fo uh, fire a volley into an area. Both have its merits. Demoralized by 25 points, 30 meter range. But that means we have to throw ourselves into the thick of combat. Whereas over here we stay away and we do volley damage. 200 range, 150 range. Hmm. I think this fits our playstyle here better. We're building him as a range general, we're not throwing him in there to demoralize enemies, so I think that's probably where we go. Not that demoralizing the enemy is not good, you know, it's excellent. Feels like we have an army that's actually defending, so we can actually build that up. Not sure about that. Very sure about this. They don't need to do anything this turn. Right. If we have extra wood, we'll come back. I know we keep saying that, and we actually had extra wood last turn, but we didn't come back. This is actually super defensive. Like, we get a garrison unit from this, we get a garrison unit from this. I don't know if they can take this, even if Odysseus doesn't come back. But we still need to retake this, so it's the same. Um, but I feel better about this. I feel better about this already. These are just not going to do much here. Right, slight... I mean, not sure if we're confident about this, but regardless, I think we will go that route. Happiness is fine. We do have extra wood, so we will spend that. Don't need the happiness, but we'll get ready for a recruitment. 2,000 wood here, 2,000 wood here. Artemis need to be boosted as well if we want this to be a backup recruitment site. And that's, that's it. That's pretty good. Um, Divine Will still needs another turn. Everything still needs to wait. Yep, even though we lost the bronze, we gained a bronze back. So it's still around negative 100-ish. Hopefully, after we use up our agent here, we can do better off. I think this is probably where we're going to send them, just because of where we'll end up after, you know, five turns. All right. Let's continue. Yeah, four armies and a paragon. That'd be roughly five turn. Oof. I mean, these can be killed relatively quickly. This siege, I mean, with both brothers, should be a fun fight. We actually haven't had a real fight with them. Usually the problem is either the enemy is way too weak or they're way too strong. By strong I mean like they have a towers and we don't want to actually lose units to the towers. No, no need. We have enough wood. No, you're gonna get wiped. I'm sorry. Yes, they're the faction that took our bronze. We will eventually destroy them. Ajax the Great. We'll kick off the siege. Into the fray. Yeah, they're, they're a little weak. The unit that we're fighting is 
it's kind of ridiculous. Even just ourselves. And then if you add in all these archers, that's getting, you know, crazy boost on their um, stats. I think the boost is... Um, plus 20 points of armor and something else. Melee defense, I want to say. It's something ridiculous. It's, you know. Battle calls. I've got what it takes. Yeah. That army is a little bit concerning I'll now, but refuse. we'll be there soon. Next Engage turn. The foe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to show just us massacring them. Like, the garrison is their best unit, and even the garrison's filled with half naked men. So, let's just uh, end this. Go on. And just wipe every single one of Sarpedon's little armies here. How the AI can keep up with this many supply line of unit is beyond me. Because he's just recruiting generals left and right. Do it right, be rewarded. Come on, how did one guy survive? Ah, we got a bunch of items. So about that little dagger at the end. I think it does a little bit more than what our little dagger does. We, we obviously have a lot of really cool items that we haven't really min-maxed. Oh my god, he gets to retreat as well? Head out. Any chance we catch Bring him? There we go. Make me proud. We could have shown that one, just have our archers rain down arrows on him. We deserved to win. For glory. He's also max level, which is actually one of the requirements for our uh, victory conditions. Both him and Ajax have to be max level. Wait, wh which one did we not get? Oh, this one. Okay. Um, we can go back on March. A long walk ahead. Can we pop into the water? No, have to pop through this side. Okay, and then obviously we'll be, we'll be heading there. We'll also do the challenge next turn. Yeah, we'll wait a turn. This is safe now. The expensive bronze. Everywhere is the expensive bronze. Not a chance. Ah, uh, poor Sarpedon. I can be most useful. All right. So we're gonna give them a break. We're gonna come over here. We'll be there next turn. We could assassinate him, and then we can still make it here. One less obstacle. Favored by a thief. Our road is blocked. Odysseus of Ithaca. Okay, we're back. Gonna pick a new decree. We're done with all the range boost. We are done with the campaign movement boost. We are going to go get ourselves the heavy infantry boost, I think. Light, we don't really have any light units. Like light melee units, not really. We have light slingers. No, those are medium slingers, actually. Yeah, we don't have any light units, so not sure what we will get. I think this, this is the last essential pieces here, and then everything else is just a little bit extra. These are nice. But like civic buildings, they, they're pretty cheap overall. And the military buildings, we rarely built. We'll, we'll get everything eventually, don't worry. He's definitely not supposed to move. I think they have one more turn. Yeah, they have one more turn. We didn't pray. I realize that. But I don't know what unit we want here. We could jump the gun, get a couple Ajax's wall, Ajax's companion, and then pass them on to Ajax when he comes back and take some marines from him. That's one option. 
But then we would want to boost before we recruit them. Oh, we got it back. Everyone be happy for a while, please. And we need a little bit of growth to rebuild. There's a lot of provinces where we probably want to reset it. So we are not on organized game anymore because it's just not going to bring us the benefits. Not sure this is safe. If anything, this might be a good building option right now. And then we just pump up maybe some wood for now. Not going to use population to upgrade it. I'm sure we can reach an agreement. Uh, he's no longer willing. That's okay. Yeah, three more turns till that upgrade, so that's perfect timing. Many, many more turns till that upgrade. Actually out of wood, huh? Just missing a little wood. I'm sure we can reach an agreement. Mm, 150. Oh, he's going to gift it. Right, he can gift it to us. We're pals. There we go. Thanks. Thank you. We might upgrade a Zeus just because our, our Zeus is falling down. We could boost it with this, but I'm thinking we boost Ares here. Because he will be automatically into the, you know, respected or worshipped. And then we get Frightened on all heroes, plus 10 charge. It's not, it's not crucial. It's also not crucial. But like that's the biggest benefit we can get, I think. Slinger damage? Oh, actually, I lied. Slinger damage. Alright. Let's give Hera a little boost. And then I think we give Athena a prayer. I think I do want to start recruiting. So we get a couple of recruitment slots next turn. Yeah. So Athena prayer. And I think now we can just move. Yeah, I'll let him do the recruitment next. Grab some uh, Ajax's wall, maybe? How many do we have in Ajax's army? That's the other question. Ajax has currently two walls and four companions. So, yeah, we'll get more walls first. The question is, how do we recruit more than... Do we want to open up another supply line? That's the question. To help us with the recruitment, because we can take advantage of the recruitment with the extra supply line of units, but then we have to pay for them for a while and the supply line is going to hurt. Right, a thousand extra food just to keep the general's army on the field. Which is a price that I don't think we're really interested in paying. State your orders. Well, it's fine. We can recruit two units here. So we get two walls. Um, we're basically praying for the extra rank. Yeah, I'll swallow the cost. It's fine. Not a big deal. Let's go. It's just not efficient because, you know, we pay to get three extra slots. We can recruit eight units, but then we end up recruiting only two. But they're better quality, so I guess that's really what we're paying for.
Yeah, Sarpedon, what are you gonna do? Yeah, all of them all of them are super quiet. This is the faction. Do they siege us? I don't know. We'll see soon. Nope. Oh. Dorians are making a move. Oh, they've been sieging for a while. Uh what are these? Axemen? Because he's been sieging us for a while, we actually are pretty weak, but we got some really nice units here. Give it a shot. It's also a walled settlement, so... Yeah, definitely give it a shot. Um, they have three battering rams. We have one gate. Oh, two directions. Two directions. Also three battering rams. Hmm. The general's on that side. We don't have enough to defend both, I think. Although it'd be nice if the tower can keep them outside for a long time, but I don't think that's an option for us. I could say throw this unit out here at the start and just stall them for a long time because I can prevent them from actually hitting the gate and just stall with our life for the towers to do as much damage as possible while most of the force guard this side and then we run back to this or actually we just keep him here to stall while we wipe this group with our, you know, units on the wall and everything like that. Because we have multiple gates, so we can actually flank from this side too. It's pretty good, I think. Alright, we're gonna put our guys on the wall. They're gonna go flank with him. They're gonna actually just go out at the beginning. Maybe I should go with them and stand outside, but then he's gonna die. <laughs> That's probably not good. Yeah, just stand here. Okay, so the idea here is just like, we hold this with our life so that the batting ram can't touch our gate. And that should just stall them for a little bit. And let our tower deal the damage. We're taking advantage of the fact that they don't have a lot of range. So we can do the same thing here. Where we just, you know, go out and face them. That side's just gonna be a, just gonna be brutal, so we're not gonna show it. Yeah, close the door. Close the door. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Right here, we're just hoping to wipe them. Like, it's not like Baton Ram does more damage to our infantry. Like, they're completely useless against our infantry, so we can, like, take advantage of this. Javelin! Shoot a little deeper. Units has no more ammunition. See, they gave up. Stall them. No bashing down the date gates here. Can you guys shoot over here. All right, they're broken. Actually, make sure they break completely. 
The enemy attacks the gates. How are they bashing our gate? Are they bashing our gate over here too? Well, he's gonna get killed. Yeah, we gotta depend on the general. All right, make sure you wipe them. Murder them. Murder them. Murder them. All right, they're dead. You guys are killing them. You guys are killing them. And you guys are now gonna kill them. The foe's ladders have a foothold on your wall. Oh, they're going with ladder now. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Oh, you're inside, but you're broken. You guys can return home. Shoot him. These guys will not survive the towers on the wall, so I don't even have to worry about them. They have no friendly fire, so we'll let them do the thing. Alright, they're all broken. Everybody back. Yeah, he might, you know, rebound and come back, um, but right now, like, yeah, you see, he, he rebounded, but we got some towers hitting them, so it should be okay. That's still a lot of men. If the, if the ram didn't break this gate, then this should have no issues, but because the ram broke this gate... We might have to make one guy just turn around real quick and give them a volley. The enemy is trying to capture the gates. Like this. Oh my god, they're sturdier than I thought. I am here. Alright, I need you here. He can beat that. Yeah, he can beat that. Good. Get back over here. The foe is capturing your victory point. It's okay. Army's coming back. We got them in a trope. General's gonna hold he's gonna be a little annoying to deal with but if we route everyone else should be fine just focus one route him rinse and repeat He broke. Who's next? Let's do the spearman. You have lost a unit. He's still very confused. Fire. They all have shields, I believe. Yeah. They just have a little bit less men compared to them, so they should probably break first. Uh-oh. Okay, they're still grabbing onto him. Sometime the unit collision and, you know, the choices comes in our benefit. The, the giants are killing him, though. Your warriors are losing heart. Ready to serve. Moving up. Forward march. Wreak havoc. I should give them a little chase here in melee. Death from afar. Destroy the foe. Please. 
Everyone die here. Alright, throw yourself. Come on, this one's almost done. There's almost no more. There we go. Push, push, push. Alright, you finish them off. You finish them. Okay, they're good. They're finished. They're also broken. Good. Alright, you guys ignore that. Go in here. Defend our. You get out. You're gonna die. Kill those giants. Shatter these. Use the last of your ammo. Or actually, you move up. We're here. Stop. Er. Your javelin. Don't hold back. To glory. Come back in. This should hold. We just gotta kill the giant. And also he has to kill them. Oh, they bounce back, of course. Your warriors have been routed. Oh no. Oh, it's the skirmishers. Spearman has been routed. No, stay on him. Stay on the general. Let them just shoot them down. I'll hit the 30. Mm, they might route too, getting sandwiched on both sides. See if you can lend them a hand. Oh, are they rallying? Okay. This is not good news. They're not shattering. They rallied. Actually, no. You helped this out. Oh, no. They're, they're good. Don't waste your ammo. Okay. I guess it's good. He routed. Victory is close enough to take. Like, he wasted a ton of turns building six rams and getting us down to half health, but then we walked outside and took care of him. Um, I'll take resources. Help is on the way. This is another long siege. Hmm, they can have this one. No walls here. They kicked us in the crotch to start the fight. Or, oh, oh, this mocking here. It's a trend now. He didn't even take it though. What a mistake. Um, no. Also, no. We, we're not engaging in diplomacy. Okay, so um, we're going to wrap our episode here. Dorian's is finally making their, you know, attacks after we took out a couple of their territories. We need to reclaim a lot of stuff, but the good news is Sarpedon's done, right? We clean this up, do a Paragon fight. We land over here, start sweeping through all these land, and we should be fine. There is, let's see how many... One, two, three, four Dorian territories for us to take. 
We pieced out with them earlier. We can just go back to war with them once we get here. Sarpanel's army we can just ignore pretty much. The wood place that got hit was here. And they didn't take it. They burned it. That's why we didn't upgrade. We decided to go with the guardhouse. We'll continue to do that because he's probably going to continue to attack us. Odysseus will also be freed up soon. Wait, what happened? What happened to their 20 stack? They... They ran. They're over here. Okay, if that's the case, we wipe this faction out, retake the bronze, and then probably go south. We probably don't have to meet up with Ajax. Ajax is fine by himself. Yeah, we go south. Ajax take care of this region, and we try to do all the Paragon uh, battles on the western side. There's a few over here. There's a few over here, and there's 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 a few over here as well. And then we'll, you know, finish that tour, get back, and then get back on pace with our epic mission as we have finally established a defensive line here. Um, we just gotta make sure we take that before potentially being stolen by Sparta here. And then we didn't make any deals with these factions because we're gonna take them. You know, these islands will be ours. We'll push our territory out farther, and that's gonna be the goal. Sarpedon's closest outpost to us is here. So maybe we'll target here first. Okay, no one really touched Crete over here. We can go there and make a southern flank onto Sarpodon's territory, which is in, you know, in our sight here. We're gonna, you know, take them, make him feel the pain too, and then turn this into actually a Tro Trojan fight against the city of Troy, which is rather far and peaceful right now. You know, the normal route is we go north, but because Arpadon has been annoying us so much, we, we will pay him a special visit before we wrap up the series. And because I think one of our Paragon missions is over here, so it's relatively close to where Sarpedon is. And uh, we'll pick things up from here next time. So until then, bye!